If you're using Firefox, I always clear files, speed up loading times and things like that. Now, if you did not get a little icon with books or something on it, um, it doesn't. If it doesn't look even remotely like that, and it might look something more like, uh, say, if your icon looks something more like uh, this right here, um, you need to download a program to be able to finish this process. So I'm going to show you right now a little side tutorial on what program you need. So we're going to either open a new tab or a new window. We're going to go to Google. Alright, when you get to Google, you want to type in WinRAR Download. That's W-I-N-R-A-R Download. Now when your results pop up, the search result that you're looking for is going to be the one here that says CNET download. They always feature a lot of cool free downloads uh, for your computer, a lot of good and commonly used applications, and they're very trustworthy. Um, you can click that, and the web page that pops up should look a lot like this. Um, the uh, This icon here, the big arrow pointing downward thing, that should be very familiar. Um, now, as soon as you get here, you want to type, or you want to click right there on the picture or download now doesn't matter and it'll say thank you for downloading WinRAR and you're going to want to save the file onto your desktop now you're going to want to double click it now I already have this program installed so I can't go too much into detail on how to do this but you click run and you go through all the processes and, uh, you know, all the I accepts and all the, you know, automatically configure this for me and all that junk. And when you get it finally installed, um, it'll ask you what types of files you want it to be able to, you know, um, support. Now, I was told there was only one file to take the checkbox off of, but I really don't think it matters. So just go with whatever def the default types of uh, files that it supports and just, you know, finish it just like that at the end. Uh, I'm not going to go any further into this visually because this is a tutorial about Homebrew, not about WinRAR. Okay, so the next thing you have to do, you have to right-click the Twilight Hack. It should say extract to Twilight Hack, same exact name as the file, and it will very quickly extract the whole file into one folder. You're going to open the folder, and you're going to see there's going to be two files here, the readme and private. The private is the one you want, so copy it. paste it right onto your SD card. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is right here it's going to say .dol. Now the tutorial that I had originally watched was um, said that to download .elf. Now that must have been a long time ago or something because now the site says something different. It's .dol. You're going to want to click right here the homebrew channel dash one dot zero dot one dot tar dot gz download that save it and in the same fashion that you did with the other file
like you're going to want to extract it to a folder with the same name. When the folder is done, you look inside it, open that folder, and and now you're going to want to copy this boot.dol and the reload folder, and again, paste it onto your SD card. The next step this is going to start to feel pretty familiar. You're going to want to click this one right here on the same web page, hbc underscore apps dot tar dot gz. The one that's right above GameCube Linux, Scum VM, Tetris, Wii 64, and Gecko Region Free. You just want to click the one right underneath the words apps package. Save it. This one's going to be a little bit longer than the others. So how about those meths? That's a joke. Alrighty, nearing the end of our downloading. Just like the last two, you're going to want to extract it to a folder of the same name. Open it up. Open up the second folder. And you want all three folders. Copy it. And once again, Paste it onto your SD card. Be sure you already have a Zelda Twilight Princess save file saved under your Wii system memory. If you don't already have a save file, just start up the game, start a new game, and save it as soon as you can, and then just exit out of the game. The next thing you're going to want to do is come to this screen right here. Um, you want to go to your Wii system memory by clicking the Wii icon at the bottom right hand corner of your screen when you see all your channels. And you want to go to your Wii memory and select your Zelda save file, and you're going to want to delete it. Yes, I mean it. If this is your save file from a previous save that you've already played the game from, um, I would suggest taking the save file and putting it on the SD card and then bringing your SD card to your computer and saving it there somewhere safe before doing this. Um, and then creating a brand new file and then using it for this as, you know, your decoy. Um, after deleting it, you're going to want to take your copy of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii now for the GameCube, out of the case, and look at the disc. It should be on the information side, and right on the outer rim somewhere, there should be a little code as to what region your CD comes from. 